This will be a quick overview of your newer A&E Touch Sharp board that some of the schools have. This is how it looks. It has a power button here. And then on the back, you'll notice that it has a built-in PC. Everything is connected. And notice you don't have any connections. There is no HDMI, USB touch, all of that stuff. You do have the option to connect the ethernet cable to this board if you choose, but you don't need the additional wires on the newer boards that they're pushing out. And of course, back here, you have your surge protector. You need to plug up anything, but it eliminates all of your wires. And then you have a slot back here where you can put your remote and your pins if you're utilizing those. So let's go back to the front of the board and turn it on. But with the newer boards, as you can see, you shouldn't have any additional wires unless you're connecting additional devices. So right here, you'll notice the power button is on red. So I will turn it on. And with the newer boards, you'll notice that it's gonna also turn on your PC that's connected to the back of your board. And that PC is a Windows PC that's connected to these devices. So we'll give it a second to load up. And it's pretty quick. It is an Android port to this board. So it is an Android tablet as well. But we're just looking at actually setting up the board, which this one is pretty easy to do. Power it on, plug it up, turn it on. So here the board is turned on and now I can sign into Windows like you should on your desktop. Use your username and password that's assigned to you by the district to sign into the board. You do have the option to come to the back of the board. If you would like to add a mouse and a keyboard, you can plug it in the USB slots here, or you can do a wireless keyboard or mouse as well, connect it to the built-in PC. But the newer boards, it's very simple to connect. Power it, turn the, plug the power to the wall, turn it on, and it's ready to go.